guys, what's up? It is Anna Louise and I am so excited for today's video. I literally can't believe I finally am getting shrimp. I know that that sounds like, why are you so excited about shrimp? Y'all, I love shrimp. Over betta fish, if I had to choose probably a second favorite thing, it would be shrimp. And I mean, even from ghost shrimp, they, they crack me up, to my mono shrimp, may he just live on forever i love mr amano if you are a regular subscriber of my channel then you probably know who mr amano is and he is amazing i'm so proud of that shrimp but for the longest time literally for over a year maybe even two years now i have been wanting so bad some beautiful colorful vibrant shrimp now if you know and are aware really colorful shrimp do and bettas do not go <laughs> They don't go good at all. You're gonna put them in there and they're gonna be dead. And I found that out the hard way. But I finally got it to where I just really, really wanna have my own shrimp tank. I want these silly gooses to be in there and be silly and flourish and just have a really good time by themselves without having to worry about any kind of predator. And I call them silly gooses because they're crazy. Shrimp just have like the best personality. They crack me up so much. They're just spazzy and crazy. Mr. Amano is a perfect example of that. But anyway, I'm so excited. And when my really sweet dear friend Bridget said that she would send me some cherry shrimp, I got so, so excited and I'm so thankful. I cannot wait. We're going to open them today and you are going to get to see the tank that I have for them and the home that they're going to be in. It is fully planted and natural. So I'm so excited about this. Let's go ahead and open these shrimp. Let me tilt my camera down. There we go. I kind of roughed up where it has her address. I forgot it was a P.O. box and then I thought well still maybe she doesn't want her P.O. box shown. I wasn't for sure. Eh, okay. I'm trying to be careful and I'm also trying to hurry. Uh, okay. Apparently I did not cut that deep enough. There we go. Eek. Oh my gosh. There we go. Now, hopefully, this will be okay. Okay, I'm assuming they're in here. Hello? Wait, are they in here? Anna is very confused. And I don't know why I just referred to myself in the third person. What is this? I don't know why that scared me so bad. I was like, what is this black stuff? It's my babies. Hello, beautiful little creatures. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if you can see them, but I am so stoked for this, guys. You have no freaking idea. They all seem to be alive. So Bridget, obviously I haven't got to text you yet, but girl, you do not have to worry. Oh my gosh, I love them. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna have to let them acclimate. I believe there should be um, five in there, she said. But oh my gosh, she sent me some goodies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, if this isn't the sweetest thing ever. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at these off camera. I literally am so beyond excited. Thank you already in advance, Bridget. Oh my gosh, she left me a little card that says Queen Anna. Okay, I'll look at this after I get these shrimp acclimating because I definitely wanna get them in the tank as fast as possible. And let me put that back up on my face. Whenever I do, I will show you guys the shrimp in their brand new home. Okay guys, of course, this is the tank that my new shrimp are in. It is fully planted and has um, natural chola wood in the back. The shrimp, I let this tank basically settle for a few days because I just got done with some water changes on it. So it looked kind of murky. Um, but basically what I wanted to say is the shrimp have definitely settled in nice but they are such good hiders some of my roots have came up oh that happens but anyway they are really really good hiders and so it is honestly a lot of the time hard to find them <laughs> they're in here and a lot of times they like to hang out around the back around that piece of chola wood that is like out right back there they like to hang around that um, but I'm just looking in right now and I'm trying to spot them just so you guys can actually get a good look at them because hello like obviously that's what this video is for but I'm not having the best look right now which sucks oh my gosh so there's one hidden right in there to where you literally can't see it oh my lanta <laughs> No matter what, I will post pictures of them in the tank if we cannot find them here. There's actually one inside of the chola wood as well. 
and of course like I said one behind it there are five shrimp total but like I said they they are literally like the best hiders ever maybe you can possibly see one right back there that little clump right there is one a bigger one but it is still hard to see which sucks but they are in here they are doing good I really do love them a lot. I'm really happy about them. Whether I leave them here or end up transitioning them at some other point, I'm just really happy to have them. They're beautiful and I'm glad to actually have them in a place where a betta can get to them. <laughs> so, anyway, just look out on my social medias if you do not follow me. My Instagram is it's underscore Anna Louise. I will definitely be posting shrimp pictures there. I just wish they would come out to say hi in this video, but they're not going to oh my gosh i'm sorry for that glare let me get that away let's see if i can just zoom in on one back there probably not gonna have any luck yeah it's just gonna go blurry they're just hiding really well unfortunately i will go ahead though and insert some pictures of them on the screen though so you guys can actually see them in the tank hi guys so i am doing a quick little fan mail opening slash unboxing really fast because i got some in the mail so let me just cover her address this is from crystal caceres thank you so much crystal you are so awesome this is a little envelope with a heart on the back which is so cute i love the little decorative touch I'm assuming this is for valentine so let's go ahead and open it <laughs> it's so cute oh 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 you can oh that is so cute you can make a oh that's adorable okay let's see just want to take the time to wish you a very happy valentine's day from the bottom of my heart you came a long way um on your youtube channel i loved it since i first found your channel uh many blessings to you anna and family sending you love and wishes for a happy day from crystals pets and plants on a youtube oh my goodness thank you crystal look how cute the card is i love it and then she gave me this little cute thing too i'm pretty sure like it has googly eyes and little pom-poms so you probably put together like a little bit of cute character or something so that is adorable thank you crystal i hope you had a great valentine's day i know that when this is going up uh, whenever it is it'll be after valentine's day but nonetheless thank you so much for sending that to me it means a lot um i haven't like announced it or pushed it out there for a while now just because I didn't want to push it like every video but I do have a P.O. box so if you want to send me anything I open everything on camera and of course I enjoy getting fan mail in the mail so if you want to send me something this is my P.O. box address it's P.O. box 624 Tullahoma Tennessee 37388 and now back to the video Alright you guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I am genuinely from the bottom of my heart just so grateful to you Bridget. I thank you so so much for these shrimp. I love them and I'm so happy to finally have shrimps and to be able to take cute pictures of them and then name them some really absurd names. Uh, which is going on in my mind right now. I'm not for sure I want to name them but nonetheless I am just so excited to finally have some cherry shrimp and to <laughs> not have them with like a predator like a betta who will you know eat them in like two seconds so i can't wait to see uh, where this little shrimp tank goes i'm so happy so excited about it i hope you are too i hope you found this video enjoyable of course i unbox bettas on here all the time i've also unboxed a leopard gecko and my axolotl tilly so done a lot of unboxings unboxing shrimps was definitely a first and i am so excited hopefully i can get more shrimp down the future i would also love to have some yellow ones and blue ones and like peppermint shrimp just some really really cool stuff but i definitely just wanted to start out with these beautiful red bright 
cherry shrimp and I love them so much and now it's just time to come up with names for them and I'm excited but nonetheless I really hope you enjoyed this video like I said and I of course want to thank my patrons as always as always Dylan Courtney Jeremy Maddie Davis Mercy Casey Jesse Mel Amanda S Amanda D Steven Crystal thank you guys so very much from the bottom of my heart for being patrons it means the absolute world to me if you want to be a patron the link will be in the description box down below you get a lot of awesome perks and it really really helps me out so I would definitely appreciate if you check that out and other than that please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel which you can do by hitting my face right up there and you can watch another one of my videos by clicking all right over there and it would mean the world to me if you would do so and other than that i hope you guys have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this and i'll see you guys in my next one